know, I, I was a little late to the entrepreneurial thing, uh, honestly. I, uh, I, I would say it wasn't until after I'd already graduated college and begun in the, in the working world that I, that I got bit by the bug. Um, and it was really just working with entrepreneurs um, when I worked in the newspaper industry where I, where I started to get my first taste of what it's like to build a startup and build a business and you know, build a web service that, that, that could ultimately turn into a business. I was a writer and editor for many years. Uh, that, that was really what I wanted to be after, after college, so I wanted to be a, be a writer. Uh, whether I, uh, I was ever destined to be the great American novelist or not, I'm not sure, but I ended up uh, doing journalism. Um, I really loved long-form journalism, so I worked for a little while at the Atlantic Monthly, and then I worked uh, at some newspapers as well, and uh, ultimately found, out, found a home at a company called Gannett. Uh, it was a big newspaper publisher. Published about 30 newspapers uh, nationally. Um, the biggest of which is USA Today. And while I worked at Gannett, I started dabbling on the web. And I built the companies, I built a number of blogs for the company. We, uh, some of the local papers, we, we built blogs for, for sports teams. So we had like a Yankees blog, we had the beat reporter for the Yankees doing that. And we had the uh, blogs for a number of other sports. And eventually got really good at that. Built up this huge blog network. Ultimately, the blogs got more traffic than the than the than the news websites themselves. 